All right, let's talk about how to hold a pen or a pencil. And I'm answering this question because it's something I get asked a lot. And uh, I think people are just wondering you know, if they're doing it right. Um, and then other people are having pain when they write and they're kind of looking for relief. They're looking for a way to change what they're doing to stop the pain, stop the fatigue that they're getting when they're writing um, for longer periods of time. So uh, let's get right into it. And first, I just want to say there's not really a right or a wrong way to hold a pen or a pencil. Um, I don't really care how you hold a pen or a pencil if you don't have any pain when you're writing and, or, and you're able to produce legible forms. You know, if people can read what you're writing and it doesn't hurt you to write, then I don't really care what it, how you hold the pen or, and, or what it looks like. Um, so if that's your big concern, then I would say, you know, you're good to go. <laughs> if you can write and it doesn't hurt, then no need to worry. Um, if you do want to hold the pen in kind of what's the textbook way, which is called the tripod grip, then this is what that looks like, um, holding it right here. It's called the tripod grip because there's kind of three points of contact here, the second finger, the first finger, and the thumb. And they're just kind of surrounding the pen equally. Um, and you might want to just pause the video if you're not exactly sure how this is working so you can study how my hand is holding the pen and you can get in that same position with your hand in your pen, okay? And it doesn't, left hand is the same way. So I'll just show you real quickly. With the left hand, same idea, just reversed, okay? Um, and if you need help getting into that position, just kind of grab the pen like this, with your first finger and your thumb, and then just rest it on that second finger, okay? Or you can have it resting like this, and then just put your thumb on there. Very simple. Um, now when you go to write, you actually just take your hand and you kind of turn it to the side and you rest it on your paper. And that's kind of your, that's your pivot point. That's your, that's your point where you can write and kind of have all your control, your stability in your writing. And you can write from there, okay? So that's the textbook grip. That's what it looks like to write with this grip. Very simple. Um, now, if you're worried about pain and fatigue, almost always the issue, it's not really about what, how you're holding the pen. You know, some people hold it like this. Some people hold it between their fingers like this. Typically, that's not the problem with pain or fatigue. You know, I'm not an orthopedic or an occupational therapist or, you know, I don't deal with those types of sciences. So I don't know all of the anatomy and the problems that produce you know pain but from what i can tell when people are having pain with with writing it's because they're just gripping the pen really tightly and they've never taken the time to undo that habit at some point you know we learn to write we learn um you know we're trying to mimic some forms that we're seeing and we, you know it's it's kind of a common sense thing to do is to grip the pen a lot tighter because that stabilizes your hand it gets rid of all the shakes and wobbles and it allows you to be very precise, okay? But the problem with that tension in your hand and your muscles is that it leads to pain and fatigue pretty quickly when you're writing, okay? And, uh, you know, the tall tale sign, if somebody has a tripod grip or really any kind of grip and you know they're holding the pen too tight when you see this, this finger go from this relaxed state to this tight, flat state. Now, you can still be relaxed and have, pretty relaxed and have a flat finger but you often, you know, you can kind of see my knuckle turning white there. So you know I'm gripping it tight. Um, so this is fine, but if you're, as long as you're not holding it too tight. And once you start holding it tight, that's stressing all the muscles in your hand, and you're gonna have a lot of pain and fatigue when you write. So the question is, that I get a lot is, you know, how do I get rid of that pain and fatigue? Um, now one way is to learn to write with your arm, which I talk a lot about, and I'll get to that at the end of this video. Um, but that's kind of a whole ball of wax that you might not want to get into. Um, so if you really want to learn to write pain-free, it's really about learning to write with a relaxed hand. So you don't have to really change anything about the way you write, except that you need to learn to relax your hand while you write, which is not an easy task either. You know, this is a very ingrained habit that you've probably been doing for a long time, writing with a tense hand. So now you need to take the time to relax your hand and learn to write that way and keep it relaxed while you write. 
Now there's no tips and tricks on how to do that. The only way to do it is to sit down with a piece of paper and actually practice it. Okay. You know, sit back, sit down and write, you know, the alphabet, write your name, write the name of all your friends, write whatever, copy a passage out of a book. It doesn't matter. Just sit down and write and make your primary focus. Your primary goal is to write without tensing up your hand. Now what's going to happen is you'll be writing, you know, right now my hand is relaxed and it'll just start to get tenser. And before you won't even realize it, but all of a sudden you'll be writing with a really tense grip again. And that's when you just have to catch yourself. And then at some point you'll say, oh, my, my grip is really tense. I can feel it in my hand. Now let's just relax it again and start again, okay? And maybe every time you do that, this might be a good idea. Whenever you notice that you have a tense hand, relax it and start a new line, okay? And then you can just go and start again. And you'll notice that the more you practice, the longer you'll be able to go with a relaxed hand before you tense up again. And if you stick with it and you keep practicing it, it'll become your natural state to write with a relaxed hand and you, your hand won't tense up at all. Um, and that's, that's really the goal here. And if you're writing with a relaxed hand, you show up with the, you know, you're still going to get pain and fatigue after a certain amount of time if you write for a really long time, but you'll be able to go a lot longer with a relaxed hand than if you're tensed up. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you hold the pen, the tripod grip. That's, um, you know, if you're having pain and fatigue, take the time. It's important to you to learn how to write with a relaxed hand. There's no tips and tricks. It's just sitting down and figuring it out. Um, and, uh, if you are interested in going a little bit deeper with this, if you want to learn to write with your arm, let's say, you know, that's kind of its own grip. That's its own thing. It's its own ball of wax. Um, writing with your arm, you know, gives you, allow you to write with more freedom like this. You kind of move around the page like this. Um, that's kind of its own thing. So what I'll do is um, at the end of this video, the, the next recommended video I'm going to put at the end that you can click on is a video that shows you the grip and the action of arm writing, also known as Palmer method writing. So if that's something you're interested in, if you really want to learn to write completely pain and fatigue free for hours on end, then write, learning to write with your arm is something you definitely want to check out. So check out that next video. Um, I'll link it in the description and it'll be suggested at the end of this video so you can easily get there. Um, and then you can also check out my website, writewithyourarm.com, where I really go deep into how to write with your arm and, um, you know, including the grip and all the things that go into arm writing. Um, and also the traditional American penmanship, which really was based on arm movement writing. So um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing here. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have a question. And we'll see you next time.